Get to Know Me, a self-portrait by Jan Egel Goldbranson. To many a stranger. So, Jan Egel Goldbranson, what kind of Christian are you? Hopefully, the loving, caring type. Passionate about Jesus. Led by the Spirit. Caring for all. For God so loved the world. Every person born. I think a lot about the consequence of that statement. My testimony. Grew up in Pentecostalism in Norway. Came to faith in Jesus at a very early age. Worked hard all my life not to lose my salvation. Learned from Joseph Prince 10 years ago that salvation is a gift you cannot lose. What a relief. It changed my life and my theology. What about theology? I'm sympathetic to partly preterism, post-millennialism, anti-institutionalism, anti-liturgy. I wish God was an inclusionist. I'm Pentecostal historically, an individualist, God's special case, his child, attending a Baptist church most of the time, does not fit in a box. Co-director of Grace Camp Ministries, a yearly Grace Conference in Victoria, BC. Home church leader, hobby theologian, Bible teacher. Opposed to dispensationism, which I was misled to believe in for 40 years. A theology which I consider man-made and that is destructive to the biblical truth. Anything else? Absolutely. I'm 58, born in 1957, family man, married to Beverly for close to 40 years. She is the best. Five perfect kids, six perfect grandkids, successful, blessed businessman. Retail chain founder, now real estate investor. Grew up in Norway, moved to Canada 15 years ago. Live in beautiful Victoria, BC. So what is partial preterism? Often referred to as orthodox preterism or classical preterism. It teaches that most eschatological prophecies, such as the destruction of Jerusalem, the Antichrists, the Great Tribulation, and the coming of the Day of the Lord as the judgment coming of Christ, were fulfilled either in AD 70 or during the persecution of Christians under the Emperor Nero. Most partial preterists identify Babylon the Great 
from Revelation 17 and 18 with the city of Jerusalem. Most interpretations identify Nero as the beast, while his mark is often interpreted as the stamped image of the emperor's head on every coin of the Roman Empire, the stamp on the hand or in the forehead of all, without which no one could buy or sell. The second coming, resurrection of the dead and final judgment, however, have not yet occurred in the partial preterist theology. In Christian end times theology or eschatology, post-millennialism is an interpretation of chapter 20 of the book of Revelation, which sees Christ's second coming as occurring after, in Latin, post the millennium, a golden age in which Christian ethics prosper. The term subsumes several similar views of the end times, and it stands in contrast to pre-millennialism and, to a lesser extent, amillennialism. Post-millennialisms hold that Jesus Christ establishes his kingdom on earth through his preaching and redemptive work in the first century and that he equips his church with the gospel, empowers her by the Spirit and charges her with a great commission to disciple all nations. Post-millennialism expect that eventually the vast majority of men living will be saved. Increasing gospel success will gradually produce a time in history prior to Christ's return in which faith, righteousness, peace and prosperity will prevail in the affairs of men and of nations. After an extensive era of such conditions, Jesus Christ will return visibly, bodily, and gloriously to end history with the general resurrection and the final judgment, after which the eternal order follows. Post-millennialism was a dominant theo theological belief among American Protestants who promoted reform movements in the 19th and 20th century, such as abolitionism and the social gospel. Post-millennialism has become one of the key tenets of a movement known as Christian Reconstructionism. It has been criticized by 20th century reli religious conservatives. Definition Institutionalism It's a noun and it means strong attachment to established institutions as of religion. Anti-institutionalism is the opposite. Definition, ritual. It's a noun, a religious or solemn ceremony consisting of a series of actions performed according to a pre-scripted order. The ancient rituals of Christian worship. Anti-ritual is the opposite. In Christian theology, inclusionism or universal 
reconciliation, also called universal salvation. Christian universalism is the doctrine that all sinful and alienated human souls because of divine love and mercy will ultimately be reconciled to God. The doctrine has generally been rejected by Christian religion, which holds to the doctrine of special salvation that only some members of humanity will eventually enter heaven. But it has received support from many prestigious Christian thinkers as well as many groups of Christians. The Bible itself has a variety of verses that seem to support a plurality of views. Again, my statement regarding inclusionism is I wish God was an inclusionist. I constantly produce new YouTubes. My favorite topics are Israel, end time eschatology, Bible history, and Bible and science. I produce in two languages, English and Norwegian. Go to YouTube. Type into the box j.e.goldbranson. Become a subscriber or scroll through the list of titles. So far about 30. My YouTubes are always PowerPoint presentations. I myself read the text, nice and slow, so all internationals can follow along. And for the rest of you, so you can have some time to think. They are all illustrated with pictures and graphs. You can use all material as your own teaching material. Stop the video on any slide and discuss the content. Do you have enough guts to see things from a new angle? Question mark. If you give me an hour of your life, I will give you something to think about for the rest of your life. Welcome on board. John 8.32 Then you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free.